Well, I'm going to be uh, rolling off Hall of Vitality on pieces to try to get my Vitality down to basically nothing. I still have some here. Oh, I might as well. This will make the build function better for life per second, life per hit, uh, flat damages, or f flat values, or a higher percentage, and then I'm able to maintain uh, other skills. Um, as for skills, Cannibalize to counter oblation. Um, this can be anyone, I guess. Configuration with captains to make you immune to damage. Show you that right now. My values of defense are 12 million and 3 million. 2.6. And then I go press the band of the dead, go into my inventory, and there are no values. Um, I can stand it at 150, done it in off season, with uh, squirts up. I'll try to demonstrate that too. And uh, yeah, you'll notice there's no corpse skill. All my corpses are being fired from the two piece pestilence. Um, other multipliers are, of course, Crispin's and Jesseth with Command Skeleton and uh, Devour and Revive are firing off Corpse Lances. Well, it kind of sucks that I uh, forgot that I uh, didn't reset my line of the dead here. One second. And if you're watching the Land of the Dead uh, reset, you'll see that I do have like permanent uptime of it. Builds fast. Well, this will really help, but I don't need it. It'll bas basically instantly reset with Master Smiths and Obsidian. These skeletons are proccing Obsidian and proccing Crispins at the same time because of Freezing Grasp. And it, it does shred, like I've, I've hit for some big numbers. There you go, there's 10T. And like it's got a lot of teleport power, like I can run really fast if I want to. And just like speed clear things but you want to command your skeletons because as you see when you command them your cooldown just drops and everything around you as well but literally you can just sit here and teleport across the screen if you want Standing in this? Yeah, sure, why not? As you can see, my squirts buff is still at 10. If you've been paying attention. I'm 
Show the cube, Master Smith, Stuart Greaves, other rings, Obsidian, Crispins, Squirts. Let's cool down. Uh, cool down stats. Oops. Cool down. 60.5. I'd like to get 62, but it's fine the way it is. Physical damage, corpse lance damage, obviously. And, uh, yeah. Almost best in slot stats because it doesn't have, uh, I would go for cost reduction still. Just because, uh, resetting it is based off that value, so it's just a good stat. Yeah, I know I have no potion either. Um, yeah, so gear. I do have pretty nice gear, really well statted. For the most part, I want to change these three out because they have vitality, again. Giving <coughs> life per second, life per hit, really good uh, turnarounds, I guess. But uh, I'll try to go fast on this one here. Show you what this thing can actually do. Uh, and then I'll do like, I don't know, GR90. Uh, Squirts does not fall off. <coughs> that is not possible. See, watch this. Just stand right there. No damage, no squirt fall off, nothing. is 100% legit in season. I've been using this build setup idea for two, three seasons. It's just been since Mesher Smith's been around that it's uh, as consistent as it is. Resetting two minutes worth of cooldown sucks, right? Super easy to reset the cooldowns. Oops, let the cooldown fall off for one second because you have no life values. You do die, but uh, beyond that, if you have Land of the Dead up and you're wearing Captain Crimson's, well, Land of the Dead Invigoration. 
Your skills do not cost essence. Damage taken is reduced by your percentage of cost reduction. My values are zero. You're literally invincible. And then, uh, GR, what gems am I running? Just like that, okay. I've designed this to do this in early season, so I'll as well show you what it does here. So yeah, you can either run really fast or tele teleport as fast as you want. You can throw another weapon modifier in here if you wanted to. Uh, if you're asking yourself, is it possible to run this as a pushing build in off season before this season, I pushed 130 in near perfect gear. Um, yeah, uh, not fully augmented, but I did have you know a few thousand whatevers. But I'll do a couple more just to show you guys consistency. If you guys are wondering about that big jump, that's blood is power proccing for me using <coughs> blood skills as a main basis of all of my damage revive. Even though it's not revived in the damage. Um, Revive fires off 20, 30, 40 lances a second, depending on my current attack speed.
so yes, I am hurting myself to do all this damage and keep my cooldowns as high up as they are. And uh, literally the most fun I've ever had with the build. Been working on this thing for a long time. And then I'll go over everything one more time at the end, and uh, I'll say goodbye. For the most part, I watch my uh, mini map running this build. Give it more time. And you can stand in all the stupid, doesn't matter. And uh, you can watch this video back. I don't drop squirts unless... Uh, Hold on. Your performance may different, differ. I got some pretty high gems in uh, right now. Uh, Gogaku's swiftness, cooldown, attack speed gets you to the 2.0 attack speed breakpoint. I'm at 2.03 with this build currently. City Ring of the Zodiac. Nems, obviously. You can use Lacunis, I guess, if you felt like it, if you weren't there. Uh, Jesseth. Captain's best one's five piece. Ring of Royal Grandeur, Corpses for Pauldrons, Escher Smiths, Stuart Greaves. Uh, you'll see on my bar there's no corpse lance at all. That's being fired from two piece set. It gets the base damage value which is the same value as all the other corpse lances and it's physical based so to scale for that like I have in uh, this slot and this slot Let's see I got cooldown there I'm not exactly where I need to be on cooldown to actually push with it if you perfect in cooldown everywhere minus one slot 
you can drop Mesher Smiths and still have enough procs at 2.0 attack speed with Obsidian to keep 100% uptime uh, on Land of the Dead in a push type environment. Uh, that literally uh, makes you immune to damage 100% of the time because of Land of the Dead Invigoration combo with Captain's uh, three piece second line. This uh, build's very synergistic. Ah. And uh, I love it. I just wanted to show everybody the setup. Basic stats, attack speed where you can. My base attack speed is here. 2.03, like I said, with uh, everything all up. That really helps Corpse Lens. And Strickin if you decide to use it. Well, have a nice day.